Hi, my name is Nicolas. I'm the French uh, e-reader guy. And today I will uh, show you how to use Calibre software. It's a, it's a software for managing your ebook library. It's a free software and we will see this in this uh, video. Sorry for my French accent. I hope it is fun for you. But first, uh, don't miss the link in the description of the video to get a discount on uh, e-reader. So, uh, this software is a free uh, software. You can download it on the URL here. I will show uh, the URL, 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 the URL. I don't know how to say this. Uh, the domain name on uh, the screen and uh, first you need to choose your operating system and uh, for Windows click here and uh, you can download here the Calibre, Calibre as we say in French software. Next you will need to install it but I already done it on my computer so you just have to double click on the software icon and now we will uh, see uh, the software with some novel already in it it's a 7.23 release and uh, to use this software you will need to download it uh, when there is update because it, uh, it corrects a bug and it can manage uh, more e-readers. So here on the display windows we have the library, your library of, of documents of e-book. Here at the top we have icons of different uh, options and functionality uh, don't miss here the three dots that can show you more options I have installed a lot of plugins uh, I don't know if I will show you that in this video because this video is an overview but, uh, but uh, why not so um, here we have uh, some uh, some option to filter our library so here I have a filter by author by language series format publisher etc and here we can uh, we can have uh, information about the selected book here on the library. When you have, uh, for example, here a filter, you can show, see the filter here and you can remove it here to show all the ebook in the library. The first thing you will need to, to do is go to the preferences of Calibre of the software to configure it for your own need. You can configure the interface with look and feel. For example, you can change the, uh, the colors here. You, you can change the icons. So you have several options and a lot of things. The language is here. But the most important is uh, to uh, configure the book details. It is what you want uh, to show on, uh, on, your, uh, on your page, on your library. Um, but I think the defaults are, uh, are very good. Uh, that is for look and feel. You can also configure behavior. Um, well, 
is there's very uh, a lot of things and uh, you you have a complete manual but to start using it you don't need very um you you don't really need to change the default uh, if you want to add functionalities you can add plugins here search for a plugin for example um, to split to split your books here hip up split and uh, this one is in blue because i had already installed it you can uh, also here check for updated plugins so there's a plugin to update i will install it to show you yes okay i can close it and see here also there's my face i will show you here the plugins available here um, to to update uh, update all these plugins I think the, um, the the problem here is I need to update every plugin one by one but it can be also uh, a good thing if uh, if something break uh, your uh, your uh, your software and you need to reinstall Calibre. Uh, so your library here by default is is uh, is and on this is located at this uh, in this folder. You can uh, save backup this folder with copy and past files uh, to 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 another hard drive for example uh, you can have multiple libraries and uh, let's go let's work with caliber now i hope uh, this overview is already useful for you i have here a, a new a new epub it's called red harvest it's a new public domain book and to add it to my library I only need to drag, drag and drop here, and I have this book here. Maybe there's something I want to change uh, on this information here for this book, so I can edit metadata with this this button here if I want. And I know it has been published in. In a, in a, I don't know uh, the date. Here, I can change the publisher, I can change the description here. And um, I can also add a series. A rating I think this is a good book and uh, okay next I need to save it okay and as you see there's my new information if you want to get to this EPUB file on your computer right click here and select open book folder here and you will see here the file on your computer if you want to copy it somewhere now 
I can change this uh, layout of the library here and I must click on the button here layout and select for example I will show you a better here layout and select for example cover browser and now I can see the cover here I can enlarge it here for example I can change the cover to cover grid here also so this software help you manage your ebook but uh, you can also read books with uh, this software. For example, here I can select a book and click on the view button here to, uh, to read the book on my computer. I must use my, my mouse, computer mouse to, to, to pass to the next page or uh, computer keyboard arrows on my computer to pass to the next page. I can also display two pages if I if I if I resize the window. And here, when I use my mouse, I can show control here, and or I can use the uh, the the escape key on my keyboard to change uh, preferences of the viewer it doesn't work why is that i don't know yes for example i can change the color here and the page layout and read the book on my computer. If I have an e-reader like uh, this one, this is a Kobo e-reader, Kobo Libra 2, I can plug my e-reader on the computer here with a USB cable here next I must click on connect the e-reader to my computer let's do this wait some seconds and next we will see here a new button on caliber on the software to uh, to add ebooks on uh, on the e-reader from caliber from the software And so I, I must click send to device here to see uh, to see the ebook on my e-reader. Click here. There is some job here. We can see everything is fine now, and I have this book on my computer. When you change the layout and restore the list layout we can see here that this book is on my device
So I hope this uh, short tutorial and uh, introduction to this software is helpful. Don't forget to see the link in the description if you want to buy a discounted e-reader. Bye.